better way to kick off the 2018 UCI Women's World Tour than on the roads of Tuscany and Stradabianca. A race renowned for its technical challenges, two of its past champions could at least take confidence in their experience to the start. However, with cold and wet conditions defining much of the pre-race build-up, those with the skill sets best suited to tougher going were also looking forward to the day's racing. So it's my fourth time, so I know the course very well. And yeah, probably the bike skills uh, adventure will be really helpful. I'm really looking forward. Uh, the weather conditions are really hard. And uh, yeah, I think uh, it's really in my advantage, yeah. Today there's an extra challenge with the weather. It's just another added tough element. So um, I don't know how much it changes the race strategy, but um, it, it definitely makes us think a little bit more about our clothing selection. For me, it's one of the best races in the calendar because it's uh, hard and it's a bit different than the normal uh, races. Plus, uh, the Tuscany is such a beautiful uh, country and Siena is, is just a nice, uh, a nice place to end the bike race. Before that finish in Siena, though, the riders would have to overcome 136 kilometres of racing. 31 of which would be on the white gravel roads that lends the race its name. As expected, the rain fell heavily as the riders approached the first gravel section of the day, with the day's early breakaways struggling to put the peloton under too much pressure. It would take until the fifth section of Strada Bianca for the race to truly heat up. With the peloton thinning, a break of real quality was allowed to get away. The trio of Canyon SRAM's Elena Amialusic, Sunweb's Ellen Van Dyke and world champion Chantel Black of Bowles Dolmans found themselves with as much as a 50 second lead, with less than 30 kilometres to go. A group that strong, however, was never going to be allowed to slip away. And the impetus in the main bunch came from those riders with the hopes of a win. The chase spearheaded by last year's winner, Elisa Longo Borghini. For Black and Van Dyke, it was time to return to this select lead group. Amir Lusik, however, maintained her effort. On the penultimate section of gravel, it was 2017 UCI Women's World Tour champion Anna van der Breggen applying the pressure, targeting the scepter's steep gradients as a launch pad for an attack. And as van der Breggen hit the climb, only Eliso Longo Borghini would be able to follow. As the pair crested the Colle Pinzuto, the Dutchwoman would go again, impressively powering away from the Italian. Behind, there seemed little initial response, with Bowles Dolmans happy to let other teams do the chasing. Van der Breggen, meanwhile, was riding her own race, the rolling roads on the approach to the final section of gravel serving as perfect terrain to extend her lead, reaching 41 seconds to Longo Borghini as she hit the final sector. Behind, the Italian's advantage over the group was holding. From that group, one rider set off to close the gap in pursuit of a place on the podium. As Longo Borghini returned to asphalt, the solitary figure of Cassia Nuadoma emerged behind. The duo set off to chase down the lone leader, but by now van der Breggen's lead had extended to a whole minute as she approached the finale. The waiting fans in the Piazza del Campo would be treated to the view of the Dutch woman approaching the finish with no one else in sight, as she adds Stradabianca to her already glittering palmares. Behind her, Nui Adoma showed herself to have the stronger legs through the narrow streets of Siena, with Eliso Longo Borghini rounding off the podium in a display of her early season form. I think it was one of the hardest races I ever did and it, I mean the team did, did great and we tried to keep on motivating and they keep on me bringing hot tea and um, bringing jackets and uh, losing jackets and it was like um, difficult, it was a difficult race and um, but in the end if you win a race like this it makes it even more like I will remember this race for the rest of my life so I'm really happy to win it. To be there, to 
fight for the podium. I wanted to fight for the victory, but Anna was extremely strong, and I think that on one point I just like lost myself, and but then I I was able to like find my good legs and keep on fighting, which uh, makes me really happy that I didn't give up. I had a severe mechanicals, and because in a day like this, you can expect to have some troubles. I tested a bit my shape, and in the end, I think it was better than expected, and um, so I'm satisfied. Elsewhere in the top 10, Chantelle Black converted a strong effort in the breakaway into fourth place. Behind her, an eye-catching fifth place for Women's World Tour debutante, Lucy Kennedy of Mitchelton Scott. As well as enjoying her win, van der Breggen reacquaints herself with the UCI Women's World Tour leaders jersey once again. While last year youth jersey winner Cecily Udra Ludwig begins her hunt for the overall jersey, rounding out the top 10 of the first rankings of 2018. Aromitalia Viano's Angelica Brogi is the first wearer of the youth leaders jersey for the 2018 Women's World Tour. With Sunweb's Liana Lippitt and Abby May Parkinson of Trek Drops also scoring valuable early points behind her.